It's just a normal lab where we planetary protect. <laughs> Meet a real life guardian of the galaxy, keeping our planet safe from alien invaders and other planets safe from us. If you were to find yourself in a science fiction film, say on the surface of a planet like Mars, what would you be worried about encountering? Probably aliens, right? Well, if we actually do ever set foot on the red planet in the future, we're gonna be worrying about something else. Bringing our own aliens to the red planet and possibly infecting it. That's why at places like the Jet Propulsion Lab or JPL in Pasadena, California, they employ a series of planetary protection specialists whose mission it is to make sure we do not infect other planets with our human stuff. And I'm here to meet with one of those guardians of the galaxy now, Dr. Moo Cooper. Hey, Dr. Moo. Hey, Kyle. We're not on Mars. We are not on Mars. We're, where are we? We are in the Mars yard in Pasadena, California. So this is the place where we can test various robotic missions, rovers, and see how well can they navigate terrain like in the rocks that you see to your right. So it's a kind of a playground. And we have a really cool test bed in the corner if you want to see. Yeah, yeah? I want to see. Yeah? Okay, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so here looks like a mock-up of which rover? Uh, of the Curiosity rover. So this but, is the one that's currently on Mars, the mock-up of it. Yeah, so you can see this is outfitted with new wheels. This is the same wheel that was used on the, the same design wheel that was used on the Curiosity rover. Well, this is big. Yes. This whole robot is big, and you're simulating the surface of Mars. Now, how do you simulate what we might be bringing to Mars and how do you deal with it? That's a great question. I need to take you to my other lab to really give you an in-depth explanation. You have another lab? I do. You want to check it out? Yes. Welcome to the spacecraft assembly facility. Ooh, so this is where it all goes down. Yeah, it's where the science happens. <laughs> so everything that's going on the Mars 2020 rover is happening in this one room right now. Yes, and then this is the huge airlock door. So that door opens to an airlock region where you can have spacecraft move in and out because you don't want to open the door and have the outside air rush into the clean room. And you can see the rover right in the corner. That's going to be the rover that's going to Mars. Oh, dang. Yeah. That hunk of metal and wires out there will be on the red planet. Yes, all that spaghetti mess in the middle, that's actually the brains and the heart and the soul of the rover. So how do you make that hunk of spaghetti metal uh, <laughs> as clean as it can possibly be before it gets off to Mars. Now, myself and my team members, we're there at every step of the assembly process. And we're there with a swab or a wipe, all sterile, ready to go, swabbing each spacecraft before it comes together. So you're like brushing the teeth of the rover. Exactly. Everybody in this clean room, they are wearing bunny suits, which means head to toe, minus your eyes, you're completely covered in a clean room garment or gloves. And that's to prevent the number one source of contamination, which are humans, from spreading our germs onto the spacecraft. Yeah, because what are we if not just bags of gross? Yes, exactly. Big, squishy bags of gross. From the spacecraft assembly facility, Dr. Moo and I got suited up for the lab so that we could take a closer look at all the microscopic bags of gross that could potentially contaminate the spacecraft. All right, Moo, so we're all suited up. What do we, what do we got here? What do you do yeah. in this lab? This is the Planetary Protection Lab. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah. This is where we bring samples that we take of the spacecraft back here. Mm. We process it, and then we count how many bacteria grow on the surface of that spacecraft. I'm going to ask you kind of a silly question, I guess, but why would infecting a planet be bad? Yeah, that's a fantastic question. And it's all about being a good person, having good manners. Do you go to your friend's house and, and wreck the bathroom and throw pizza boxes all over the place? It's the same thing. When we go to Mars, we have to be good citizens. We have to explore responsibly. And if there's life on Mars, we have to make sure we explore in a way where we don't mess up our ability to discover that life. It would be very sad if the most important discovery in history, period, was ruined because someone sneezed on a robot. Exactly. So that's what we're trying to prevent. Okay, so how do you go through the process of determining what's on what and how do I kill it? Yeah, let me show you some plates. So each one of these is from a different swab from a different place on the yeah. spacecraft? So we take one swab and we divide it into several petri dishes just in case there's a lot. We want to kind of dilute it out and make sure we're able to count it. 
it doesn't necessarily have to be sterile. It just has to be within the limits that we set so that once it goes through all the environments, the cold of space, the vacuum of space, that it has the lowest probability of contaminating Mars. So you'll be testing the spacecraft all the way up into the point where they're loading it on yes. the rocket to Mars. Correct. Just to make sure at every point it is falling underneath that limit. Exactly. All the way to the end. How are you going to feel when that door closes? It, it'll be a, a, a sense of accomplishment, a sense of pride. Uh, but we're already going to be rolling on to the next step. Well, we're back in our probably contaminated human clothes. Thank you so much for taking us around, JPL. You have an awesome job, and thank you for showing how you keep our planet safe. My pleasure. Thanks for visiting. Yeah, and thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go back to Nerdist.com and Because Science for even more sciencey and nerdy stuff. Do you want to go grab some lunch? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, do I need to wash my hands? <laughs> Definitely. Even in the clean room?